Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is October 1st. I am also vlogging for Vlogtober, but that won't come out until tonight because I'll record throughout the day and then edit it and put it up at night. <laughs> but uh, anyways, this is for the crochet along type thing, I guess it's called, <laughs> from Stitch Day Easy and also Manic <laughs> Manic while I'm using. I want to get that confused. All the M's confusing. Um, where they do, they're doing the cute spider web square and then they're gonna make a blanket around it. And I wanted to participate along with that because I love Halloween and you can never have too many decorative things to throw around your house for holidays. So here's my square that I made. I put a spider on it, <laughs> just a little applique spider. Um, so there's my spider web square. It's actually pretty easy. It looks more complicated than it is, but it was really easy and I enjoyed it. And uh, the white part is crocheted onto the black part. So there's minimal sewing. The only thing I had to sew was the spider, but you don't have to make a spider. But the yarns I used, this black is um, just yarn from the Dollar's Tree. <laughs> uh, it's the air and weight black. And then the white is Red Heart Super Saver white. And the purple is also from Dollar Tree. It's the just yarn purple. <laughs> I don't know what the color is called. I don't know what I do with the rest of it. It's probably on my cart. But um, I just thought it'd be cute to add a little spider. And I've since seen other people's thumbnails that they've added spiders to. <laughs> so I think that's cute. But um, this pattern, this spider I didn't use a pattern for. I just made a circle. I did a magic ring with six and then I increased to 12 and then to 18. And then I just um, I eyeballed where the legs would go. And the legs are just, I would, uh, I slip stitched, you know, a few stitches. And then the leg, it was, I chained four and then I slip stitched back three. And then I slip stitched back <laughs> into the circle and then made the rest of the legs. Really easy. I just wanted the cute little spider. So now I'm trying to figure out if I want to use my Halloween swap scrap balls for this project or if I just want to use my tote of scrap balls. Plus I have some like half use skeins that I can pull yarn from. Because uh, I want to try to keep it all Halloween-y Halloween colors. And um, then I also don't know if I want to do a granny stitch around it or if I want to stick with like the solid stitch I don't know because there's enough spaces in between here that I can just I start immediately doing the granny stitch pattern around it or if I want to do the solid stitch I don't know I can't think of what I want to do <laughs> it's hard but I got to figure it out because I want to put um, some little bit of yarn in it every day of October so I got the rest of the day it's like 12 I think <laughs> so I got rest, I got a while to think about it but um, yeah so I have a, I know I have a ton of random scrap balls do I want to use my swap yarn for that or do I want to use that for something else I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna think about it and then figure it out later today but I'll link below uh Stitch Ain't Easy and Manic Mama Musings <laughs> and I'll also link below there's a video tutorial for this square and there's also a written tutorial I followed the written tutorial because I prefer written patterns over videos but I did have to go back and look at the video to figure out how to do this last part right here reattach the loose part of the spider web to the square because I was I wasn't reading it right I guess but I watched the video and got it done so I think it's cute I love this square it is so cute <laughs> with a little spider and what I was thinking is um as the blanket gets bigger I might add other Halloween appliques to it you know like either maybe more spiders or um you know little ghosts or skeletons or something I don't know <laughs> I will figure that out as it grows I just thought it would be so cute to make along because it'd be so cute setting over Devin's chair <laughs> for next Halloween. It was my idea because I already got one for the couch. <laughs> but you know me. I, I can never have too many Halloween decorations. My ghost is leaning. Is that up there, mister? <laughs> but um, yeah. So anyways, this is my square. So if you want to check out their channels, I'll link it below. They have more information about it. I believe they're going to be putting out videos um, more about it too. And I'll just update you guys whenever I can remember to, <laughs> uh, probably in Vlogtober, and uh, show off my cute little thing, and I hope I get it done. Hopefully, uh, nothing crazy happens this October. Uh, September was kind of crazy for me, health-wise, just flip-flopping things, you know, so I'm hoping things are steadying out, and I can just enjoy the holiday season, which is October, November, December for me, <laughs> um, and relax and make stuff, because <laughs> I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time sitting down um, this pregnancy which is fine I guess but anyways I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys later today for vlogtober day one and it's gonna be fun you should check it out because um 
random vlog clips plus when Jesse gets home from school later we're gonna make some homemade cookies and he's really excited about that so I'm gonna well my idea is I'm gonna have it all set up already measured out and everything before I go get him and then I'm gonna go pick him up and bring him home and then he can help me do all the dumping and mixing and all that stuff that he likes doing and uh, maybe it'll go smoother if I'm not trying to scoop out flour and stuff while he's trying to help so that's my idea I don't know we'll see <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video bye guys